All right, guys, welcome to the TPO Fly of the Month for March 2008. A little late. Uh, this month, I'm going to make my uh, 265 Sulphur Nymph. This is the one that got the big fish in the West Branch of the Delaware last summer. So for 26 and a half inches, we call it 265 Nymph. All right, I'm going to use, for this fly, I'm going to use a 3761 SPBL. It's the Super Point Barbless Hook by Tiemco. All right, I'm going to start off, I'm going to use U Ultra Thread UTC in dark brown, 70. I'm going to wrap the hook shank halfway down. I'm going to break the thread off. For my tails, I'm going to use Speckled Hen. I'm going to pull about six fibers off. I'm going to make my tail about as long as the hook gap. When I cut my tails off, I'm going to cut them facing, to facing the front of the fly. Alright, for my ribbing, I'm going to use small black copper wire. I'm going to tie that in. All right, for my dubbing, I'm going to use Davy Wan SLF Masterclass dubbing mixed with a little bit of brown ice dubbing. I'm going to dub a nice taper body. I'm going to go about halfway to two-thirds up the hook. I really like the effect that the ice stub gives this fly, and I think it's a key reason why the fly works so well. All right, for the next part of my, for the next part of my fly, I'm going to wrap the copper wire, spacing it about an eighth of an inch apart. You're only going to get three or four wraps. You're going to wrap halfway up the hook. I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to cut the wire. Now for my wing case I'm going to use black thin skin. Much easier to work with and the shine on the other side of the thin skin I think gives it a nice effect in the water so they can pick out this one from all the other naturals floating by. Next I'm going to dub the thorax of the fly. This is going to be much thicker than the rest of the fly. So I'm going to be quite generous with my dubbing here. I'll even pull the wing case over to see what it's going to look like. That looks to be about right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my speckled hen again. I'm going to use the same feather for my legs. I'm going to tie in one set of legs on the left. Now I'm tying these legs in before I pull the wing case over. I find that if you do this, the legs will hang closer to the body and they won't stick out as far as they would if you tied the legs in after you pull the wing case over. And also, you won't crowd the eye of the hook, which is a common problem people have when tying mayfly imitations. They try to tie everything in too late. It ends up being a major cluster in the front of the hook here. So I've tied off. I come over with the wing case. Going to cut it really short. Now, I don't like all that thread in the front of my fly. So what I do is I'm going to dub a small head on my fly. I'm going to whip finish this. Try 
trim the thread and take it out and if you look that's the exact profile of a mayfly nymph very realistic Impre very realistic impression of a mayfly nymph but it still has a lot of the impressionistic qualities that a hare's ear or a pheasant tail has and it looks virtually the same from every angle that you look at it which I think is a very important quality of all uh, productive flies that they all look the same from three from every single angle when you rotate it